Welcome to this SkillPad video resource, where we make learning fun. In this video, we are going to examine the physical and chemical properties of soil, that residual component of weathered rocks which supports plant and animal life. Have you ever wondered just how important soil is to our ecosystem? It's not just dirt beneath our feet. Soil is a vibrant living system that plays a crucial role in our planet's health. But what makes up soil, and how can we investigate its properties? Today we'll uncover the answers. The physical and chemical properties of soil are what make it so vital to life on Earth. These properties vary from one soil type to another, and they include porosity, air content, water retention, drainage, capillarity, color, and pH. So, how can we investigate these properties? It begins by identifying the type of soil we're dealing with. There are three primary types of soil, sandy, loamy, and clayey. Sandy soil is gritty, with large particles and high porosity. Loamy soil, the gardener's favorite, has a balanced mixture of sand, silt, and clay, making it fertile and well-draining. Clayey soil, on the other hand, is smooth when dry and sticky when wet due to its tiny particles and low porosity. To determine the constituents of soil, we can perform a simple experiment. First, we collect a soil sample and dry it out completely. Then we grind the soil into a fine powder. This powder is then mixed with water in a transparent container and left to settle. After some time, the soil particles separate into distinct layers. Sand at the bottom, silt in the middle, and clay at the top. The thickness of each layer tells us the proportion of each constituent in the soil. Now let's delve deeper into the properties of soil. Porosity, or the amount of space between soil particles, can be determined by measuring how much water the soil can hold. The more water it can hold, the higher its porosity. Air content in the soil is also critical. It can be measured by saturating a soil sample with water, then heating it to evaporate the water. The decrease in mass gives us the amount of air that was in the soil. Water retention and drainage are two sides of the same coin. To measure these, we saturate a soil sample, then allow the excess water to drain. The remaining water is what the soil retains. If a lot of water drains away, the soil has good drainage but poor water retention. Capillarity, the ability of soil to draw water upwards, can be observed by placing a soil-filled tube in a dish of colored water and watching how high the water climbs. Color can tell us a lot about a soil's organic matter and mineral content, while pH, measured with a simple test kit, reveals whether the soil is acidic, neutral, or alkaline. Output. Finally, we can calculate the percentage of air, water, and humus in a soil sample by weighing the sample, then drying and re-weighing it. The difference gives us the percentage of water. Burning the dry soil then gives us the percentage of humus, with the remainder being the percentage of air. In conclusion, soil is a complex system whose properties are vital to life. Its ability to hold air and water makes it a habitat for countless organisms, while its mineral and nutrient content supports plant growth. By understanding and investigating these properties, we can better appreciate the importance of soil to our ecosystem. Remember, soil is more than just dirt. It's the foundation of life as we know it. Thank you for using this SkillPad video resource. We hope it made you appreciate the dirt beneath your feet, especially how it supports plant and animal life. You are welcome to look at other video resources from us on this platform. We hope to see you again soon.